Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. So, we are back in the community hall, and today we are going to venture upriver to the plane crash, explore a couple of other bits, and hopefully grab this memento catch and a couple of saplings, hopefully, in the area before heading back down to the farmhouse. I haven't done anything since last episode apart from sleep, but I have put a few bits away that I don't think we're going to need on our journey. And I think we're pretty much set. I don't know how long we're going to be gone for. So I think packing heavy for supplies is going to be needed. So um, I think we're good to have all the stuff we've got on us. There is a couple of stops on the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go along the river and see what we can find along the way. The crows are flying, that's always a good sign. It's a little bit foggy. Not great. But we'll be alright. The plan is that we're going to walk along the river. I, th I find the river is probably the safest way to travel up the road. Because if you follow the road, uh, there are wolves. If you go north of the farmhouse, there are wolves. If you go north of the barn that we visited, there are wolves. There's wolves everywhere. So... The river tends to be high-sided either side for the most part, apart from little bits like this. And you should be able to travel most of the way up without running into any issues. There is a couple of waterfalls if we are to go fully north to where the Timberwolf Mountain is, but that's not too much of an issue. And even if we went all the way up there, we would only have to go around, I think, one or two little waterfalls. So it's not that big a deal. We're going to go to, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Is it Deserter's Cabin? I can't remember what it's called. Something like that. But there's a cabin just up here, which is pretty desolate. There's not really anything there apart from this little cabin. Uh, we can go there. We can stop off, uh, relax a little bit. And then there's a rope we can climb to traverse up to the level above. I don't think we have to climb it, but I think it makes it slightly easier. At that point, we will come across... A couple of ruined houses, but the main point there is that there is a bunker. And in that bunker, well, it's a basement really, not a bunker. But in that basement, there should be quite a lot of loot. It should be quite nice. And also what's good about it is it's right next to the crashed era. And it's spitting distance from it. So we can go in there, go round. Crap. Uh, no, 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 no. Bad Wolfie. Stay there for a second. Good. Stay there. Run away. Good. That's why torches are good. <laughs> I, I've literally never seen a wolf over here. i traversed this river quite a few times. Never seen a wolf on the river. Maybe I've just got lucky before. Not quite sure. Piss off, please. And it had to be going down the river where I wanted to go. Can you just, like, go away? Though. Thank you. Jesus. Leave me alone. <laughs> so annoying. Oh, okay, I was hoping that we would be fine doing this, but apparently there's going to be a couple of wolves. Luckily, I don't think we're going to be planning to uh, come back this way, so... That's not... I've literally never seen wolves there. I've travelled down here a dozen or so times, never seen wolves. There is a cave here we can rest up in very briefly. Should be a little bit warmer, hopefully. Now we are. Uh, there is a bed we could rest in, if we really wanted to. Let's stop off, have some food. Have that soda. Perfect. Uh, there is potentially a bear nearby as well, so we're going to have to watch out for that. Uh, there's a birch forest just to our left, uh, which can have a bear in it. It can also home a moose, but we've already seen the moose, and it's not there. That's good. Uh, right, let's chuck that. We'll grab another torch. A little bit worried about wind. It does look like wind might be picking up. 
Mm. Might have been the wrong day to go, in hindsight. It's not that far, to be fair. We just need to go round the corner. When the river starts to bend, that's when we take a little bridge over. We go to this little hut, and then we will probably end up staying there for a little bit to warm up. I'm not sure how long we are going to be gone. Probably most of the episode, I'm guessing. Grab these. Always good to have a little bit extra. Here we go. Of course, the river is curling round, which is nice. I believe it's where, straight in front of us, is where we need to go. Got a little bit here. Uh, what is our weight looking like? We're fine for a little bit. We'll see what, if there's any loot here. So we can find some stuff in here. A little bit of reclaimed wood. I'll do. There's the birch forest to our left. We can get a bunch of birch bark from there. We can use that for teas and things if we want to. I think it's the next one, I believe. Um, nice little deer. Can we get up here? I thought we could get up there. Apparently not. Uh, get up here? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Uh, light source, that. Like that one. Good. Right, so we do need to be a little bit wary because there is a bear that can trek around here. I believe. Um, it's hard to tell because the only one I've seen around here... I will shoot it with arrows. <laughs> and it ran away from me quite a long way and then uh, walked along here. So I don't know if I just it got scared and came here or whether it comes here naturally. Not quite sure. Anyway, uh, what does it feel like? Minus four. That's not that bad. Hypothermia should be going up relatively slowly then. That's fine. We've got time. We've got time. We could technically build a fire, worst case scenario. We do have enough reclaimed wood that we could keep ourselves warm for a couple of hours. But I think we're all right. The huts, to my understanding, although I've only been here a handful of times, I believe it is just round this corner. I will keep picking up sticks just in case, because I'm starting to doubt myself now. But I believe there is a rope just over there, and there is a hut just over this little... Uh, Snowy Verge. What's that? Is that a sapling? I don't know. Hang on. If that's a sapling, it's worth picking up. That is a sapling. And I believe... Uh, over there. I think just see it in the distance. That's the hut where we're going to. Good. Get this. Just quickly check, make sure 14%. It is going up uh, quicker than I was expecting. There's the rope. Yeah, there's the rope. So I'm just now looking for the hut, which should be really close by. There it is. Fine. Uh, I don't think we need this anymore, so I'm just going to throw it. Getting too windy anyway. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to pick it up. Because then we can use it as a stick. So we're here at this little hut. And some rose hips. Amazing. Harvest them quickly. 12 rose hips. Let's get in. Get nice and warm. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we got a snare as well. Nice. Uh, anything else in here? Ooh, candy bar. Can see some shoes. <gasps> Ooh, decent work pants. They can replace our jeans. And they're really good. There we go. They're actually light. No, hang on. No, they are heavier. Much heavier. Painkillers. Uh, got a bed. We've got some more dog food. Just what you always want. Dog food. Anything under the bed. I cannot see anything under the bed. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like... Is it a blizzard? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we got here just in time then. For the time being, let's harvest some cloth. See if we can fix up a couple of our bits of clothing. 
Might be worth fixing that up. Not sure if we're going to find anything better than that. Uh, at least for the time being. We might get lucky. Oh, come on. We might get lucky and find something in the aeroplane, but I'm a little bit doubtful. We definitely need to eat something before that is out. We do not want to lose our well-fed perk right now. <laughs> we would be a bit screwed. We are getting a little bit tired. I say we sleep for three hours. We'll see how late it gets after that. But really, all we need to do now is climb that rope and we'll basically be where we need to be. But if it's still windy out there, it's fine. It's not that bad. Uh, how many torches do we have? Three. Um, I'm going to see whether we can do this without a torch. Just because... Um, We've only got three, and I'm going to need more of them. Three would do after the bunker, like maybe near the aircraft. But I don't really want to risk it. Too encumbered. No, we're too encumbered to climb. By how much? Tiny amount. I don't think we need them right now. Let's climb the rope. Again, I don't think we need to do this. But it is quite useful for our purposes. Because we're pretty much going to go to sleep as soon as we get to the bunker. Uh, it's in bunker. Basement. The basement that is just here. Uh, before I go any further, once I get to climb up here, I'm going to use a piece of charcoal. There we go. So. Now got this bit to climb. Is there anything around here? Just before I go any further, I think it is just that we need to go up here. Yeah, because this does save quite a lot of time, especially since we're going to go to sleep as soon as we get to the top of here anyway. Oh, okay. We did that just in time, <laughs> because we're now encumbered. Come on. We do have a coffee, worst case scenario. I'd rather not use it now. Yeah, we're going to be fine. But there can be two wolves at the top of here. Like, just around the corner from here. So, though I don't really want to, maybe it would be worth using the torch. Let's use cardboard matches. I'd rather get it ready just in case. Because I've seen two wolves up here. There might be more on occasion. Right, it's just here. Uh, where is it? There we go. Right. On the other side of here, there is a basically a trap door. The house here, I don't think there's anything here. Skeeter's Ridge, here we go. <clears throat> See, we might not even need it, but from my previous playing, I have seen a couple of wolves here in the past. It looks like this time around, we probably didn't need it. Body there. A couple of rose hips as well. Got the crow feathers. Ooh. Flare. Quickly grab the crow feathers. Loot the body. Loot this. Obviously these. Then, I'm going to quickly extinguish this. Um, do searched. Just to mark it. That's where we are. Let's get in the basement. Perfect timing, because we are exhausted. Lovely stuff. Right, it's getting late, and we are in the basement in Pleasant Valley. Excellent. Got some wood matches, got some food, search the fridge. Some crude broth. Tasty. <laughs> uh, got another cooking pot there, which I am going to take. Some antibiotics. Thank you. Decent driving gloves. Ooh, an arrow shaft. That's pretty nice. Another flare. Thank you. Uh, got this plastic container. I know it's getting heavy. Calm down. Um, ooh. Advanced guns, guns, guns. 
It improves rifle firearm skill by 10 points. Amazing. It's a lot of reading. Well, that would be really good to read. Um, okay. What have we got here? Wool sock and another hunting knife. Amazing. Some more wool socks and a t-shirt. What have we got in here? Work pants again. God, how encumbered are we now? Oh, extremely. Oh, God. This crude broth. 680 calories. Okay, we are having that. It's too heavy. There we go. Let's harvest these. Um, we're probably going to have to harvest quite a lot of the clothes. Uh, the decent jeans. We don't need the jeans. Harvest the jeans. We've now got a spare pair of the work trousers. I think we're fine. The mittens. We've got plenty of mittens. Harvest them. Uh, and I don't really want to leave anything here because it's not a particularly safe place. Harvest these shoes. Cured leather for late game is like worth its weight in gold. So I think we'll just save as much of that as we possibly can at this point. Uh, let's harvest that for the stick. We might as well harvest that one. 6% is not worth it. Mm, harvest the t-shirt. There we go. That helps significantly. And in the morning, we should be able to at least run. Bedroll down on the floor. 12 hours. Good. At least we got here. And that's the important thing. And I believe the plane crash is just on our right as we leave here. So uh, let's drink some water. Now, I believe the crash is just over this hill. Oh, there we go. There's the plane. Cool. Oh, I think we've gone the wrong side. Can we get round this way? We might have to have gone the other way, annoyingly. No, we are blocked from doing that. Wonderful. Um, okay, we're going to have to go around the other side. That's really annoying. Okay, uh, that's my bad. Technically, there's the door to the plane you can open from the inside once you're there, and then you can access it both sides. And what's good about the plane is that we can access a ton of clothes. Hopefully there's a ton of suitcases everywhere. We also should be able to find some aeroplane food, which obviously isn't the nicest thing in the world, uh, but it's a good amount of calories. And yeah, it's uh, it gives you some thirst back as well as hunger. And also it, it seems to keep quite a long time. I don't know if it's indefinite, um, but it does seem to last, which is very nice. Uh, so, uh, we've also got, potentially, flare gun. The things that I found in the past. So there's quite a lot we could find. I don't know where the wolfies are. That's concerning me a little bit that there's no wolfies. Here we go. So you can see the overturned trees. There's lots of brokenness. There should be a cave on our left. And the plane is just ahead. Let's quickly nip into the cave. We're a little bit chilly. A little, little, little bit chilly. Search his backpack. Ah, there we go, warming up. Good. Tell you what, let's dump the wood, because we could make a fire here. Worst case scenario. Let's leave that there. Uh, is there anything else we could just leave here? Um, I'm going to harvest some of these socks. Well, oh no, hang on. Let's get into the warm bit of the cave. That would help, wouldn't it? There we go. And because uh, caves have warm bits and they have cold bits uh, because they've got indoors and outdoor bits, technically. Uh, so if you go into a cave and as soon as you start warming up, that is the inside of the cave. That's the indoor part of the cave. It counts as that. But, 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 but we've warmed up quite a lot. Get these rose hips. I can prepare them a little bit later. And there's going to be a bunch of corpses here. We'll start at the top and we'll work our way down. Here we go. So. Search these suitcases, see what we can find. Climbing socks. Good find already. Grape soda, nice. Yeah, the, the carnage of this place. There are lots of crows. Find lots of bodies here. But this is a really good spot to come early on because the longer you leave clothes and supplies and things, the uh, worse condition it gets. Yeah, I might have to harvest them. So if I came to this on like day 100, for example, chances are the clothes would be the saplings down there. I'm going to have to take them before anything else. Otherwise I'll forget all ruined awful condition. So yeah, you want to kind of come here fairly early on. Three maple, nice. It's, a, it's similar to like Timberwolf Summit. If you go there early on, you can get some pretty good clothes fairly quickly. 
Obviously, there's lots of other stuff at Tim Wolf Mountain Summit, uh, so you don't have to go there early game. It's kind of a mid to late game thing you do anyway. But if you can go there early, it's always good. Which is why I'm tempted to try and go next episode. I might just go to Ash Canyon soon. There we go. We've got airline vegetarian food. 560 calories. Major amount of vitamin C. Okay, I think we did all the suitcases to here. Uh, I'm going to take all the clothes that I find, and I'm just going to sort them out when we're back in the cave. I don't think there's any point trying to sort them out now. But there's so much stuff here. I'm really hoping we can find a flare gun. I don't think we can, because I think they tend to spawn in a case at the top, not the bottom. Ooh, well, that's a good find. Hello, you. I wish we could loot corpses like you can in Project Zomboid. Where you can just take all the clothes that are on them. <laughs> Be very macabre, but at the same time, uh, we could take that nice toque and that jumper he's wearing, and we would be uh, A OK -okay at that point. Come on. Luckily, we're actually warm. Like, I'm amazed we're warm. We're warming up being here, which is kind of crazy. Another one of them. Like Christmas. That's Christmas. Heavy cable net wool sweater of the kind worn by people on cold boats. High neck and generally very warm, also heavy. They are amazing. They're really, really, really good. Oh, it is definitely Christmas. They're the best uh, thermals in the game. We definitely check those yet. Uh, we can't run anymore, but we don't really need to. To quickly check out the last few cases, get inside the plane. Have to shoot another took so many clothes. So many good clothes as well chicken. Wolf is definitely the other side of this plane. I don't think you can get inside if I open it. I'm not sure if I want to take the risk right now. Yeah, look, there's loads and loads of this aeroplane food. Airline food, I should say. Aero well, it's the same thing, aeroplane, airline. It all weighs quite a lot. I mean, 0.25 kilos, but decent amount of calories in them. Go in. So this plane does make you feel a bit weird when you're in cycles of the uh, uh, the angles. I have never found anything in these overhead lockers. I'm I'm happy to be proven wrong if I can find something in here this time round. But every time I've ever searched in here, they are always empty. And maybe it's just on easy difficulties you find stuff. Or maybe it's just insanely rare that you find anything. Summit. Go. Last couple of suitcases. A warm dress shirt. Seems like the worst thing ever you could use in this kind of scenario, but hey ho. And here's the door. That's the ruined cabin that we saw before. It'll lead round to the basement. I'll leave it open just because. Um, we'll try and sneak round to this side. I was going to say, sometimes we can find good stuff here. Balaclava's really good. That's a very good find. Ooh, hello, mine. Thank you very much. Anything in the seats? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, more thermals. Anything else, anything else? I think that's probably it. But that was the mother load of all halls, so I can't complain too much. We're so encumbered now. Did we search you? No. Well, you didn't have anything on you anyway. Okay. Well, then. Um, that was pretty damn incredible, wasn't it? We can't run. We're so encumbered. God, I'm so slow. I don't know how I'm getting back to base now. All this stuff. Uh, we're pretty high up. We don't need to take the ropes to go back. Um, my plan is that I'm going to avoid taking those ropes entirely. We're going to go round the long way. Because the plan originally was we were going to go to that memento catch. And um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to do that now. Let's make our way slowly to the cave. So much good loot. <laughs> so, so much good loot. Yeah, I think we've still got a fair amount left to harvest and go. Because if we are lucky and we're able to go to that memento catch, there's at least a couple of kilos of weight there that we could take we could get lucky and find other stuff on the way so yeah 
Um, it's going to be interesting. Ugh, so much weight. So much weight. But at least we've got a bed here. It's quite nice. Uh, that is a worn sports. A worn down. Yeah, there's no way. Let's harvest these. At the end of the day, it depends whether you're going to go for warmth or stamina and, and mobility. So I tend to go for warmth over anything else. Um, because at the end of the day, you can get away with walking everywhere, but you will freeze if you uh, if you uh, aren't warm enough. So, kind of the way I look at it. But this is a really nice top, so I'm going to try and repair this as much as I can. We pop that on the outside. It's pretty damn waterproof. 1.7 uh, warm. How much is that one? 1.4. Still, they're still really good. <clears throat> but um, I think the fact we've got a spare is amazing. Let's wear that. I'm going to fix that up once. Just so that we've got the spare. And then I think we'll harvest the rest. I need to have a drink and something to eat before we lose our perk. Uh, we'll only drink half because then uh, we're going to eat the dog food. It's rusty. It's 16%. There is a high chance of food poisoning. However, it is time to sleep it off. We didn't get it. That's amazing. Um, I'm going to say we uh, we could have slept it off. Right, already down to 48 weight. We can run at 45. So that's just um, harvest as much as we can that we know we definitely do not need. But we're going to get a lot of resource out of this. The amount of cloth, I dare to think what our cloth is going to look like after all this. Uh, we're probably going to be like three kilos of cloth. Oh, yeah, and we've got these long johns to wear. It's already better. It's a uh, half condition. Double pretty much in every way. And that'll do. So how much warmth does that give us if we do that too? How about that? Four. I sleep in this then. Right, so it's the morning. Uh, let's try and prepare some of these rose hips. We can prepare two lots. Okay, because that should hopefully help with the weight a little bit. Uh, let's have a look. So, yeah, they're point ten. I think the rose hips itself will, like, get quite heavy. Uh, we need one more lot to get to that, so that's fine. So, we should now be... Yay, within running. Excellent, we can actually run with the amount of stuff we've got. That's really good. Okay, let's drop a few of these sticks. We do have a lot of these wool toques. Let's harvest one. How much cloth do we have? I dread to look how much cloth we've got. 14. <laughs> uh, it's all right. It's always good to have it in surplus. That's pretty good haul. We're bringing back a lot of spares. I'm, I don't think we need that. Let's harvest it. We're bringing back spares of stuff, but to be fair, spares are always good. Like having a spare lot of clothes in Pleasant Valley is, is worth having. Well, um, goodbye, little cave. Nice to be here when we were. Uh, ooh. Oh, I wish I'd noticed that at the beginning. Um, that would be nice to have. 1.5 weight as well. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it, and I'm going to light a fire, and I'm going to cook that meat. Because we need the experience of butchering. And I don't think we're going to be coming back here anytime soon. We've already looted it all. And I need the charcoal anyway, don't I? Yeah, that is the only thing is now weighs a ton. Um, the guts, there is no point. We're going to have to leave them here to cure. But we'll make a note that they're here. And if we ever, for whatever reason, are passing, we can pick them up. So uh, let's get into the warm part of the cave. And let's light a fire. Uh, magnifying no we can't use magnifying glass because we are indoors technically uh accelerant let's use the accelerant we need to level up our fire starting so i'd rather use the accelerant to uh try and help level up two i'll do for now cooking place that to speed up the process it's cooking pots or pans helps speed up the cooking process so uh, that takes 21 minutes that takes 41 minutes Eat that. Tasty venison. And that's cook. Hmm. That's cook. What do reishi mushrooms do? 
boost immune system and demonstrate antibiotic behavior. Natural painkiller. Let's do some coffee. One. We'll cook another one. Cook that much water. I'll drop the spare fuel because we're not going to need it. And I don't want to waste it because we could always come back here if we want to. I think that'll do. I need like a thermos. I've never found a thermos uh, since I've been playing. But it would be nice to find one at some point. Okay. 57 minutes. Just enough time to read my book. Good. Embers. Come on, go out, please. Uh, can't craft anything, can we? Oh, fire hardened arrows are vanilla. I thought that they were part of the mod. That's cool, I didn't know that. Uh, we could technically... They're, like, useful for shooting rabbits and presumably the birds that we can find. That's quite nice. Uh, there we go. Take the charcoal. Let's try and discover this plane while we're up here. Really? We didn't discover the plane? Oh, screw you. Do we need to go next to the plane, then, to discover it? Uh, hang on. Is this still oh, still cold? No, I wanted the heat bonus. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's drink it anyway. Because I don't know how long... It's probably a waste, but I don't know how long we're going to be out here for, so I would rather have um, the benefit. Let's go near the bottom of the crash and see if I can just discover it there. I don't know if it's worth doing this or not. No. It's not an indoor area, so it doesn't count really anyway. Oh. Uh, no. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Uh, that's fine. Okay, let's scooch over this way. And the plan really for the rest of the episode is keep exploring the top section whilst also working towards going back home. We've looted a lot to the point that we can't really take much more. We are very close to being max encumbered. It's going to be a bit tricky managing all our weight. I am a little bit worried about all this snow that's just appeared. I am wondering if it's worth even uh, trying to go across the memento box. Because where we are right now <clears throat> is here. Uh, the memento catch is here. It's still quite a long way. I'm wondering if it's actually worth it or not. I don't know. Honestly. Uh, I imagine it is. But it's just like, I don't think there's many places, if anywhere, to sleep during that time. So I'm a little bit concerned in that sense. Especially if we are this encumbered already. Just a little bit worried that we're going to be a bit stuck. It just sounds like we're going straight to the wolves. <laughs> Which I think technically we are. I'll cross this way and down that way. I think this is the way up without uh, taking the ropes. I think we should be fairly safe. I say that and then there's a corpse. <laughs> Not foreboding at all, is it? Okay, we uh, we should be okay. Yeah, I say that with uh, knowing absolutely nothing about what our prospects are, to be honest. Right, we're at the river. I do know where we are if we're at the river. And actually, navigating using the river is probably the easiest way for me to get about. There's a wolf right there. Can we light this? Should help a little bit with everything. I think this is the only torch we've got. Let's check if there's anything. Go away. Go away. Go back the way you came. I wanted to see if there's anything in here. Ruined it for me now. 
annoying wolf. Take that birch block. We can make a birch tea if we've got two of them. Okay. Right. Wolfie went that way. Uh, the wind's picking up. I think it's this way. I think back to the farm is this way. We still have the flares, so we are okay. And, yeah, the torch is blown out. Thought that might happen. Uh, okay. I think a blizzard's coming. Um, we should be semi-protected by the walls. And at the very... Yeah, I know where we are. And at the very least, if there's a blizzard, all the wolves disappear. They go into hiding. To put in perspective, we are on our right. Past the bridge is the north of the farm. So where we counted, like, however many wolves there were, that's the north of it. It's not that far on my back. Oh, there's a little Khan. Hello. Lost Khan, its story is not yet written. Special thanks to Backer 4272. Nice. Right, so yeah, we can't get up that way. Oh, on the wind, change direction. <laughs> oh no. I thought we would be sheltered, and now it's just directly behind us. Uh. Yeah, here we go. Blizzard. The, the, there is the, always the danger that, although uh, the blitz do scare away the animals, uh, technically, if you ha are in an area where they are already in the predators, they will kind of slowly drift off the map. So they could still run into you if you're not careful. Okay, so I'm semi-sure that if we go up here... At least we're sheltered here. But I can't see a thing. Oh, no. Here we go. The fruit trees. So just follow the fruit trees. We'll get back home. We're fine. Chill out. Now, theoretically, there should be no wolves. I think bears can still be out, and there is a bear that can trek through here. Can bears be out? I think so. But I think it only goes in front of the house, not behind. Yeah, and we're here anyway. I know, but to be fair, you got back fine. Get in. You didn't even get the risk of hypothermia. You're absolutely fine. There. See? That wasn't too bad, was it? Big fry baby. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? Let's put all the hides... Well, I say all the hides. Put the hide that we need to prepare out in here. Make it a bit neater, and plus we can just look at the storm while we're semi-warm. So what does it feel like in here? It seems to always be minus five. Okay. Get that there, and we'll get the maple branches. Four of them, which is very nice there. Fifteen cloth, six leather. Can't really ask for much more than that. And we've got that book, which is amazing. We've got some more flares. we got a snare. Which would be very nice if we put it in the right place. We can catch some rabbits. Um, we've got the revolver and ammunition. We've got some more. We've got some venison, which is very nice. Uh, we've got all these extra clothes. We got back absolutely a okay, which is just just wonderful. So uh, let's chuck these down on the floor. Lovely. I suppose the good thing is, even if they do go off, what's good is the fact that. Uh, when we get to level 5, we can still eat them for the vitamin C, I guess, is the way we should be looking at it. 
Okay, that's a good amount of food just to have on us. That's that's like a good uh, two days worth of food. That's fine. Excellent. Let's go back in. But that's a good amount of food. That's a good few days worth of food if we ever do get stuck. Right, and what day are we on now? We're only on day nine, really. Okay, I thought it was, uh, it was later than that. Okay. We've got a few books to read. Which we kind of might as well do. Although, what level are we in cooking? Cooking's still only level two. It wouldn't take much to get to level three. I feel like what we should do is... Do we have the skillet? Where's the skillet? I think I left it back at the other place, didn't I? We need to get that. Because I can't really cook without it. Because... I can't make the bread without it, and I wanted to make the bread. It is a shame. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, let's compare the balaclava. 1.1 to 1.9. It is only half condition, though, so if we repair it... Come on. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, it's on two, it is better. There we go, and don't we look beautiful with it on? <laughs> Ah, oh, much better. There we go. What is our temperature now? Warmth bonus is 20. We're at the point now where I would consider going to Timberwolf Mountain, and I think we would be fairly safe, or reasonably safe anyway. Oh, God, this is very dark. I think we might just need to sleep. Let's find somewhere for it to go. There we go. So I think the last point of call really seeing is we've got a little bit of time left is I'm going to go after this storm has settled, and try and get to this memento catch. It's not that far away. And I think it would be worth doing, especially if we do actually get an bow and arrow out of it. It would be very, very worth it. Uh, that's... Ooh. Should we try and read? I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get an hour out of it. Let's see. No, we were so close. That's not fair. An extra minute. Uh. <laughs> okay, fine. Just sleep. Eight hours. Eight hours will do. Storm seems to have settled somewhat. A quick drinky poo. But we could actually sleep one more hour. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully at that point it'll be light enough to read. We can finish that book and just leave it here. Yeah, we might as well just pass time until now and then we should be able to read the rest of that book no problem there we go lovely and then it'll be fully light and the sun will be up excellent pick that up good stuff uh let's put that one over here because it's going to be for that purpose rather than reading purposes this one is for reading purposes uh let's have a look at the clothes in here i don't know whether they naturally wear down if we, I, I, so if someone knows, let me know. Like whether if we left them in here, whether they would naturally lose condition, or whether they would now be fine. I'm not sure. I'm hoping that they don't lose condition now that we've put them away safely. Uh, but uh, you never know. This game is funny in some ways. Uh, wait, put that way. Put that way. Put that way. Good. Excellent. So we just need to lose a little bit more weight. Uh, we don't need a huge amount of weight well, we'd capacity when we're up there, just because there isn't a huge amount of loot. Uh, the plan is max if we really wanted to take the hides back with us, um, which we would only need a fraction of the weight, really. Um, so we won't need that much. We've got enough that we'll put some flares away. Uh, we haven't filled any of these yet. No, no. Okay, we'll put these away um arrow shaft we don't need that uh, i'm not going to use the marine flare it's just a waste uh that can go away that can go away i need that realistically i don't think we're going to need the wet stone with us all the spray can for that matter i think we'll just use charcoal uh that can go away transfer eight all of that can go that can go so that can all go. And I think 
that will do. 26. I think that's pretty damn good. Yeah. Would have liked more, a little bit more anyway, but that will do. Okay. Uh, do we have any spare water before I set off? Just because we are running low a little bit. Uh, I say running low, we're completely out. Okay. Um, we'll be all right. I can start a fire. It's fine. We've got a couple of those drinks, so we should technically be all right. Okay. Now is the interesting test. I'm going to open this car up. We're going to follow this path back to the river. And then we should be uh, a okay. And basically, we're going to the far end of the river. Flare shell. That was, that was worth it. Uh, ooh, scrawled message. A memento with a survival hint. Wait, what? That's the cave where that was. There was another cave? To cave system? What cave? Oh, hang on. Ice fishing hole. No, that's the cave, that's the cave um, where we go to Mystery Lake. There's a memento there? Oh, did not know that. One, two, take it. Okay. Right, we're gonna hopefully try and avoid wolves. It doesn't look weirdly like there's any there. And that concerns me, because if there's no wolves there, there's a wolf there. It might mean that there's a bear about. That's the bit that concerns me, really. Not, nothing else. <laughs> I want to go there, because I know there's a corpse there, and I found things there before on the corpse. I can't remember what it was. It was definitely a flare, and I think I found a revolver there once. I might be mistaken. If I can get round. I think we can go up here. I can't remember which way. There is a way we can technically climb up and around. Here we go. And then down we go. But if you jump off this ledge, you can't get back up. Bit annoying. Uh, flare. Nothing else. Okay, well that wasn't as good as it usually is, but flare is a flare. Can't really deny that. <laughs> Let's keep pushing on. So, oh dear, there is, uh, luckily this place is fairly safe. There is a bear that roams, but there doesn't tend to be that many wolves in this bit because it's wedged between multiple wolf sections. Because there's wolves on our right, which is where the top of the farm is. There are wolves on our left near the river. And there are wolves ahead of us uh, where we're going. So it's, uh, yeah, it's wedged between a number of places where wolves can be. But it's quite a nice little area. There tends to be quite a few deer. And also this hut here where we're going, I think I can just about make it out. There. What is that? Is that a wolf? Oh, come on. I was going to show everyone. Uh, there is, you can see the crows, there is a deer carcass above it. Um, which I was tempted to use that one for the hide. We're going to try and do a little run. I just want to skirt around it. We do have the tiniest bit of torch left. I think we've only got the one torch. Uh, let's quickly, yeah, we've only got the one torch. Okay, well, if that wolf isn't going away and it doesn't look like it is, um, yeah, then we're just going to leave it. Oh, there's two wolves. Okay, well, fair enough. You stay there. Not risking that, then. But yeah, you can see the deer corpse just in the shed. Look, yeah, but annoyingly, two wolves are protecting it. We're going to have to remember that for the way back. I believe multiple wolves can also spawn up here as well. So we are going to want to be a little bit careful. Mm. 
But this is the bridge to where we need to get to. And up here, we will find two deer corpses. I think one of them has an arrow in its head. I'm not sure if that's by default. Oh, I think it is by default. I found them on a couple of occasions. Um, whether or not it's every time, not quite sure. But again, I, I've only played a few times in the last year. I've only picked up the game again recently, so it's hard to remember exactly. Uh, up ahead, there can be a wolf spawn over there. And I believe over to the right, a wolf can also spawn. But this is the place where it gets really cold. Um, I mean, we al it already feels cold. And, uh, yeah. That is where the wolf corpse is. So we go to our map. That's the wolf corpse and the human corpse. Over here... Uh, there tends to be a bunch of birch saplings. Please say they're still there. I'm like, oh, I don't think I spawned in. No, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> um, I was hoping for them because we haven't really found much birch since we've been here. Um, okay. Frustrating. Fine. Well, whatever the case, uh, we've, we're at the, uh, whatever it's called, the three... Three houses? Is that what it's called? Take the charcoal. Deer corpse there. It's... Doesn't have an arrow in it. Okay, my bad. I thought it always did. Getting cold. Why is it every time I'm here, it gets cold? Take the snares. That's a lot of... That's a lot of meat. Get in here. Um, literally every time I'm here. Oh, so cold. Take that. Take that. Uh, how cold are... How stinky are we? We are quite stinky. Eat the venison. Um, eat the gamey rabbit. Get rid of some of the stink. Okay, I don't really want to harvest that, because as soon as I start harvesting it, we lose the ability to repeatedly harvest the feathers from it. I'm going to keep harvesting the feathers around here. Uh, rifle cartridge, mine. Another hatchet. What is our... Wait, Pat looking like it's all right. Take these for fire. There's the other crow feather. All right, I'm a bit concerned about... A wolf, because a wolf can spawn up here. But what we want is there's the wolf corpse, there's a human corpse, and the catch just here. And look at that. Three arrows and a bow. Does not get much better than that. So I'm going to leave the wolf corpse again so that uh, I can use it to harvest crow feathers. I am going to search the human body, though. There's nothing there. I thought normally there was a weapon with it. Whatever. Harvest the rose hips. What is our condition looking like? 12%. We're fine. But we will go to that cave. Cave just over there. Um, yeah, the This would be if you can survive the cold, because every time I've been up here, it's been freezing. I don't know if that's just me and bad luck. Or what? Because uh, I've only been up here like what, four times, properly anyway, in recent recent history. But if you can survive the cold, this is not a bad place to set up for the first week. Because uh, you've got three deer corpses and a wolf corpse potentially. You've got a load of deer, and rabbits can spawn. So it's quite nice in that sense. Uh, we are warming up, hopefully. Good, good stuff. Let's get to the back here. Let's have a little assessment. So, we've got fresh venison and some fresh rabbit. I mean, that's amazing in itself that we found that. We got that. I don't think that's worth it, but I'm going to harvest this. Wait for the wind to die down. Uh, the fleece... Fleece cow. I don't understand why you would want that. 
Um, harvest that. I don't think it's worth it. There we go. And uh, we needed some water, didn't we? Yeah. So, while waiting for this thing to die down, uh, I think accelerant is probably the best point of call. There we go. Perfect. Go. Uh, let's cook some water. Two liters will be fine. Uh, we'll place the cooking pot down. And we will cook some... Why can't we cook that? We don't have any water. Of course we can't cook a tiny amount of that. Just so that we can take that, and then we can cook uh, some teas. Um, I think that will do. Pick that up. Still a little bit of time left on it. Uh, what is the time? It's midday still. Where is our teas? Drop them on the floor. What we can do is if we pop them there, they warm up. And if we do that, it will warm them up again. And I've never actually tried this myself, but apparently it will just stay hot forever. It won't burn, which is an exploit technically, but... Yeah, there we go. So that will never burn now, but I don't think tea should really burn if it's not in a fire. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Um, what we can then do is wait for that to be cooked. Take that. Pick that up. Take that torch. Extinguish it. Uh, take that torch. Uh, okay. Okay. Drink that one. Take that. We get the warming up perk. Although, I say that and I don't know what the weather's like. But the warming up perk should at least get us kind of away from all this. We can go down here, see if there's any saplings. I don't know for certain if there are any normally down here, but I thought it was worth a little look. Hold up tree. Yeah, we'll leave those uh, corpses back there because we can always come back. If we get desperate for food, we know for definite that there's three corpses there. Before I forget, I need to eat that. Um, we're not stinky anymore, technically, but I think wolves can still detect it if you do have any meat on you. Not 100% on that. But I think if you are less than one, they don't detect you from that way, if that is the case. So, we're going to come out at a waterfall. If I can get under here. There we go. Right, we're at the edge of the river. So the bridge we traversed is just over there. Uh, what I am going to do... Thing, ...is I'm just going to uh, chuck that on the floor first. Like that again. Take these. And then... I think it's time that we head back to base and I will end the episode there. It's been a pretty fun run. We've done quite a lot, and we've pretty much explored, apart from, I think, a cave or two, uh, most of the top of the north of the map, at least the top left. The top right we haven't done, but that's because we have to go across the road. And I wanted to save that really for when we go to Timberwolf Mountain and Ash Canyon, which I am tempted to do maybe next episode. We've now got the bow and arrow. So we've got a decent weapon that uh, we can aim with. We've got four arrows with the potential to craft another one, at least right now anyway, um, because we've got the arrow shaft uh, that we looted before. So I think that's enough to at least get by for a bit. I think if we went to Timberwolf Mountain now 
and we fixed up what clothes we had, I think we would be okay for the most part. So I think that's what we're going to aim to do next episode. We're going to hopefully, I might change my mind. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence between going to Timberwolf Mountain and uh, getting, well, Timberwolf Mountain, then Ash Canyon. I think going to Ash Canyon first to get the technical backpack would be the best point of call first. And then after that, we could potentially try and do the summit. The only thing is I've never done the summit before. <laughs> um, so doing it kind of scares me a little bit. Um, so I might have to do my research before I commit to that. Ash Canyon, no, I have done it. And I didn't find it that bad, especially the route I took. Um, but if I go Timberwolf Mountain on the way back, I'm going to have to do a different route on the way back, which I'm not particularly familiar with. So that's my only concern. Anywho. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I think it's going to run out. Oh, just about good. Ooh, thank goodness. I say that, but I don't think this is going to last until we get back to base. No, this is it. Okay. And we're no longer warming up. Okay, well, we'll keep this on us anyway, because uh, we can harvest it for a stick. Oh, but it's been pretty fun. Bow and arrow. We've got all the food we could want for a long time. Got really good clothes. I think it's been good. Very, very, very good. The only thing we are lacking really is the heavy hammer and uh, the rifle. Both of which we could technically find in Ash Canyon. Why I'm, <laughs> why I'm thinking about doing it. There is the curator's rifle in Ash Canyon. I've only found it once. It's definitely Ash Canyon. Yeah. Um, I've only found it once. Uh, I got very lucky because I didn't even know it spawned there and I just happened upon it. So we could try and look for that. But really, I think the crampons and the technical backpack is the thing to do in Ash Canyon. Double check about wolves. Whether or not I do that or I just go to Mystery Lake and uh, have a lovely relaxing time, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, this episode has gone on a very long time. So I am going to call it a day, guys. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you've liked Ruisim, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons and YouTube members. Drew, Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lobby Lord, T Chaos, Tallman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchall, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, and Heretic. Cheers, guys, you're all amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me in the channel. It means a lot to me, so I just can't thank you guys enough. You guys are amazing. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.